<laughs> okay, so unfinished business tax revaluation presentation by tax assessor Ed Galante. Sure. Oh, you're on, sir. Yeah. Can I start with one question I've gotten calls about? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Committee member. <clears throat> Based on the Facebook chatter, I thought there'd be a lot more people here tonight. <laughs> He's disappointed. Isn't that always the way? Uh, I guess they're home watching. Um, I've been asked to do a little presentation on revaluation. Uh, we haven't done one here in town since 1986. Perhaps some of you here remember that. Um, and I just want to say, first of all, that the main purpose of revaluation is to make taxation fair to everybody. Um, like I said, back in 18, uh, 1986, we did our last revaluation, and uh, since then, uh, everything has gone up in value, um, but not evenly. Uh, there are some areas of town that have gone up two and a half percent, uh, uh, two and a half times, I should say. Other areas have gone up three and a half times, and so because of that, we have people that are paying. Um, too much in tax, and we have other people that are paying not enough, and you know, some are paying the proper amount. Um, so revaluation is going to clear up all those issues, and um, I just want to touch a little bit on what to expect through this process. Uh, basically, we're going to hire a company. Um, they will send out letters to different neighborhoods, um, letting you know that they'll be in your area at a certain time, time frame. Um, they will have ID. Um, you'll probably see them walking around the neighborhood with tape measures and clipboards, measuring the outside of every house in town and business, um, inspecting the inside to uh, get a feel for the, uh, the amenities of all the houses, uh, the condition of the houses, things like that. While this is going on, and it takes a long time, um, other members of the company we hire will be uh, doing sales analysis, uh, figuring out um, uh, land value formulas, depreciation tables, things like that. Um, your interaction with the reval company is really not much. You're going to answer the door when they knock on it. You're going to let them in to do their thing. It takes five, six minutes. Uh, if you're not home, They'll leave a note saying that they were there and that they're going to come back uh, at another time, some evening, perhaps between 5 and 7 or something like that when most of you are home. And if you're not there for that, they're going to leave another card on your door saying to please call for an, ins uh, an inspection at your convenience. Um, that's about all the interaction you're going to have with the reval company. Um, at some point in time, probably in the fall of 2020, you'll receive a letter with uh, your new assessment. And that assessment will be the current market value, what things sell for today. And you know, if you disagree with that number, you have the opportunity to come and make an appointment with the firm, talk to a representative. They can explain to you how they came up with these numbers, what sales they used. Um, if you're still unsatisfied, you can always file an appeal with the Union County Board of Taxation on or before May 4, uh, 1st of 2020. The normal tax appeal date is April 1, but in a reval year, they give you an extra month. Um, if, you don't, if you're not satisfied with that, you can go to the tax court in New Jersey. That's really basically it. Uh, I mean, there's a lot involved in doing a revaluation, but um, you're not going to see all that. Uh, you're just going to see someone come into the house, and you're going to you're going to see a number. Anybody have any questions? Ed, what if you don't let him in? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's not to your advantage. Um, basically, you'll be assessed at the highest reasonable number because you don't we don't know what's in there, and uh, you lose your right to appeal. So if I law. haven't done my kitchen over or my bathrooms, it's to my advantage to let them in so that they can assess it properly. Correct. Correct. Um, I, I think 
you're better off letting them in so we get the right number on the property uh, to begin with. You don't want to get involved in filing an appeal and then, you know, then you realize you didn't have an inspection and you can't appeal, then you have to let us in at some point anyway. So I think the best thing to do uh, during a revaluation, and I've been through um, many of them in, in other towns. As a matter of fact, I used to work for a reval company years ago. Um, the best thing to do is to let them in so we can see exactly what's in there and there's no problems. I have a question for you. Um, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of basement questions from people. Sure. What constitutes a basement? When when does that become a problem for raising taxes and not raising taxes? Finish. finish. Like what is bathroom has to be? Does it make it finished? Is it you know just putting up walls? Is it finished? What what? Uh, basement finish is is um, a basement that has finished walls, um, f floors, and ceiling. It doesn't have to have a bathroom. It could have a bathroom. Um, but doesn't have to have one. I have a few calls. People who bought houses that were going to last, say, three years. They said, well, we've been, you know, reassessed already. I said, well, we reassessed? When they, I guess their taxes went up after they bought the house or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. I said, and they said, do we have to have this again? I said, I would presume so. I said, it's to your advantage. But they, you know. Well, um, but one, one person called me and said, according to New Jersey law, every seven years or whatever it is, it's supposed to be seven years. So mm -hmm. I only bought my house three, three years ago, I shouldn't have to have this. Well, first of all, I, we don't reassess properties when, when they're uh, sold. Um, there are occasions when the assessment goes up on a sale because <coughs> after I do an inspection of that mm -hmm. sale, I realize that we don't have certain things on our record. and. We, to make it fair to everybody else, I have to pick it up. Yeah. So that would be the only reason that the tax went up, other than the, the budgets went up, mm -hmm. uh, for those particular in, in situations. Mm -hmm. and, yes? So if you said you mentioned uh, the fall of 2020, so people are going to be coming when? When are they going to start to come? Well, that's hard to say. We have to hire a company first. Um, I would say they probably will start in the late fall, early winter. If I said 20, I meant 21, right? Uh, during, during a reval year, you get an extra month to file. Is that the, what you were talking about? Oh, sorry for the confusion. They're going to start in the fall of 20, uh, of, I'm sorry, in 19 probably, and work all through 2020 to get the job done for 21. I, I have to file the list on or before January 10th at the Union County Board. Okay. Right. A finished basement to me is uh, a basement that has a finished floor, walls, and ceiling. So suspended ceiling, sheetrock, whatever it is, lighting, whether it's you know built in or a lamp on a table. And, and finished basement isn't going to add a lot to the overall value. It's just part of the value. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, to maintain assessments, um, what I do, and most assessors do it this way, uh, if, you, if you put an addition on or you renovate a home, I will change the assessment to what it would have been in 1986 had those improvements been there at, the, at that time. So to answer the question, when we do a revaluation, we're going to bring everybody up to today's current market value. If you just bought a house, you know what you paid for it. So, 
the new assessment will probably be somewhere around what you paid or more depending on what the market's doing right now the market has been going up 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 for years uh, we're starting to see it, it's starting to level out now uh, which is good it's it's good to do a revaluation actually when the market is level um, I hate to do one when the market's going down but um, you know yes to answer your question we're, we're going to bring you up to market value whatever that may be excuse me I, I'm sorry I don't mean to interrupt would you mind just for the people who are watching when the audience asks you questions would you mind just repeating oh, sure. it to the microphone sure yes ma'am The question is, will the revaluation um, cause your taxes to go up? Um, that's really hard to say. Um, last, last time I was here, I don't mean to interrupt you, my taxes went down. The last time they reevaluated this town. That's always a possibility. Don't we don't know what the rates are going to be two years from now. We don't know what the budgets are going to be two years from now. But I can tell you that you're right about the multiplier. Um, if, if the... Uh, Currently, our, our overall um, uh, rateable base is about 1.1 billion, <coughs> and that only represents 35 to 40 percent of the real value. So, when the revaluation is done, we're going to see a rateable base of 3.5, 3.4 billion, something like that. Um, so, now that the base is higher to collect the same tax, the rate is going to come way down. How it will affect you personally, I. I I couldn't say. I have no idea. Yeah, definitely. Yes, sir. So, um, in terms of the taxes as a pass, our, our current property tax talks about the school, the county, the state, and the town. Would it be equal across all of that, or is it just particularly the state, county, and town? Uh, the question has to do with uh, the breakdown of the taxes uh, between school, county, and uh, local. Um, um, I'm sorry, what, what did you well, think? The evaluation really will affect the property value, which will affect the value. Right. I'm saying, does it affect all those equally, or will it affect, like, state definitely doesn't have uh, it, the... The... It will not affect... The effect will be... The, the budgets will be whatever they are for each entity. I, you know, again, I have no idea what they'll be. The school budget will creep up every year like it always does. Everything does creep up a little bit. It's inflationary, really. Well, what he's asking is, will the assessment only affect the state portion of it? Will the, you, you really you get DOA. Oh, will the, will the assessment the affect county. the state portion, the county portion, right. school. or the school portion? The, the reassessment will affect all those. Not that I know of. Uh, the question was, um, the last reval was decades ago, 1986. Uh, will we be getting into a schedule of doing um, revaluations more often? I don't know the answer to that question. <coughs> yes. I have another question. So if you, you know you get that little postcard in there, right? The assessment notice, right. The question is, when you get your assessment notices on or before February 1st of every year, um, the assessment that's on that card, is that the number that's going to go up? Yes, that's the number that's going to go up. And so, I mean, so if you're saying that that number right now is, is 160, mm -hmm. right? and say the city of Barbary has worth 100, I mean, is that going to go from 160 to 400 with market value? Or, or do they play around that? The, uh, the question is, um, if your house is worth 400 today, but the assessment is 160, is, is you know, are we going to come up with a $400,000 assessment? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, 
the assessment of 160 was the 100% market value of your house back in 1986. Whether you lived there or not, that's what it was worth. That's what comparable sales in your neighborhood were selling for. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take all the assessments in town. We're going to look to see what things are selling for in each neighborhood. And based on those sales, we're going to develop land formulas and come up with today's market value as an assessment. So instead of being that 40% of the market value, that's our current ratio approximately, we'll be at 100%. I actually have a question. When, yes. <clears throat> when we go through this process, <clears throat> pardon me, allergies. When we go through this process and you calculate everything that you calculate, um, do you inform everyone at the same time, or is it like staggered as you come as you start calculating? You get information out to people, or is it like a one-shot basic deal where people find out all at the same time? It'll be staggered because, mm -hmm. um, like I said before, everybody will have the opportunity if they want to to come and speak with the uh, reval firm. And if we send letters out all at one time, it'll just be overwhelming. So we'll do it in in uh, neighborhoods. Okay. Sections like that. And just just a follow up to that question. If your house is assessed at 160, now it's 400. That doesn't mean that your taxes are going to go up two and a half times. Correct. I think you kind of didn't, you know, That's need to finish that a little bit. Oh, I see where you're coming from. Uh, in other words, if you're assessed at 100,000 and we have a tax rate of 5 percent, that's 5 thousand dollars a year. And if it goes up to 400, that's 20 thousand dollars a year. Now that's not going to happen. The, the tax rate will come way down. As a matter of fact, if you want to do a calculation at home tonight, you can just simply take our current tax rate of 7.1%, multiply it by our current ratio of 39.81%, and you'll get the effective tax rate. The effective tax rate is what the rate would go to if everybody was at 100% of value to collect the same tax dollars. Never seen so many pens click at the same time. I, I could see the look on her face. Was like, Real? Okay. Well, I, you know, if you, it'll be part of our sales analysis if you sell it. Yes, ma'am. question was, um, has to do with property tax cap. Um, really, I'm here tonight talking about reassessment, which is going to change everybody's assessment. Um, it, nothing to do with taxes. The cap is on budgets. Right. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the question was, what about uh, people who have filed tax appeals in the past and they've been, I guess, lowered? Their assessments have been lowered because of it? Is that what you're talking about? Well, it, it never goes up. We don't do that. Um, if you file an appeal and your assessment was adjusted downward, it's probably because I realized it was too high and I stipulated to a number with you uh, rather than drag you through the courts. Um, but Whatever your assessment is, whether it's the original assessment, whether it's been raised by me because you put an addition on, whether it's been lowered by the court, uh, that's all out the window. New assessments are going to be today's current market value based on whatever you have. Yes, sir. The question was, um, will the revaluation people have the authority to change your assessment, I guess, if, if you meet with them with some concerns about their number? Yes, they will. They have the authority to do that, sure. I have to sign off on all these numbers, so I'm working with them every day. Um, we're going to break the town up into neighborhoods, uh, homogeneous neighborhoods. We start with a zoning map. Uh, say, for example, um, the Woodside section. They're all split levels. 
it's, it's all going to be one big neighborhood. Uh, we're going to look at every sale that's occurred there in the last few years, putting the most weight on the most recent sales. And with that information, we're going to come up with what your house should sell for today based on those sales. We're going to do the same process in every section of the entire town and the commercial uh, entity too. Hey, now, you if you have a meeting with the Reval company and you express to them some concerns about certain things about your property they didn't know about, you know, whatever it is, and they feel that that warrants adjustment, they will do it. Hey, can you explain where this came from? Like this wasn't something that you did or, or the committee did? Um, yeah, um, the state of New Jersey uh, has been after Union County to reval for quite a while now. It's gotten to the point where um, I, I, they've ordered the county to order all the towns in Union County to do a revaluation. Um, there's been a few re revals done so far, Westfield, uh, Hillside, a few other towns here and there. Um, Elizabeth has actually challenged the order in the court. I think they've already spent enough money in the court that they could have done the reval. Uh, and they're gonna, that's a losing battle. So um, we've been ordered, we're going to do it, and that's all there is to it. Yes? Um, the tax assessment is based on the size of the home, right? And the upgrades in it. So a final siding is one of those upgrades as well? Uh, the, question, the question was, um, I guess, what different features affect the assessment? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, any improvement to a property that's going to increase the value of, of that property is, is going to be considered. You know, vinyl siding is pretty common uh, today, but in the 86 reval, people who had vinyl siding got a little bit more of a bump. I think the idea was that that was a, um, a maintenance-free siding that made the house more valuable, and I, I believe that it did. Uh, through the sales analysis that we're going to do, we're going to find out why people buy houses, what drives the market up or down. Obviously, the, the better condition your house is in, the more it's worth. The bigger it is, the more it's worth. Where it's located is, is, is key. So all those factors come into play. Um, the... Um, Improvements to property like a modernized kitchen or baths or basement finish, air conditioning, a pool in the backyard, in ground, uh, other detached buildings all affect the assessment. <laughs> Should we turn she, to she must have a lot of those things I mentioned. <laughs> yes, sir. Is that where you live? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I guess the question is, um, how can we determine value uh, of um, split-level homes in the Woodside section um, that have been uh, maintained nicely, but they're all original or mostly original? Right. The sales analysis is going to show us um, what sells for what and why it sells for that. Um, there are so many sales that have happened over the last few years 
uh, we will be able to determine the difference in value between a house that's mostly original but maintained nicely versus a house that is uh, all modernized uh, but it's the same style in the same street so uh, and also the houses that have been knocked down if they've been changed to colonials in a colonial style house um, commands a higher value uh, that will also be reflected in the assessments you're right um, over the years um, you know there are sections of town where we have say a lot of ranches uh, pit road um, that area over there uh, they've been bought up recently by contractors um, turning into colonials uh, because that's what people want today they don't want ranches anymore uh, and when you do that you've you've increased the value of that property substantially so that 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 is also a factor and of course it's a brand new home so the depreciation on that that property is going to be a lot less than something that's from 1950 or 48 or whatever the case may be question was if you knock down your home and build the same house I guess brand new on the same footprint well again it'll be a new home with less depreciation than an old home and depending on what style you build uh, it'll be assessed accordingly And one last thing, if anybody has any further questions, we are going to do this multiple times. After we name the people who are going to do the reval, they'll come in, they'll give an update. So we'll probably have two or three more chances to speak on this subject. So just if you don't, you think of another question, you don't get it out tonight, there'll be another opportunity. Yeah. So uh, we'll take maybe one, or I'm sorry, I didn't finish. Most of the reval firms that I know of, and there's only a few in the whole state, they will do presentations as many times as the township committee wants. They'll do them here or neighborhood uh, uh, clubhouses or wherever you want to have them um, and they'll they'll go through it pretty much like I did only they were going to explain more of the process of what they do um, I didn't want to get too involved in that tonight because it just gets too detailed but uh, the bottom line is the reassessment will will bring everybody's assessments up to the current market value the multiplier will shrink and how it's going to affect you personally we have no idea at this time but I will say that the purpose of the revaluation is to get rid of all the disparity in the town. So everybody pays their fair share based on, based on the current market value of the property. That's the only reason we're doing this. It's not to raise taxes or anything else. Okay. Well, well, last thing, you're not going by exterior landscaping, driveway paving, things like that? No. Okay. I appreciate all of the information tonight. I appreciate all the residents who are in attendance that asked very um, interesting questions. And I think a lot of people